Oh, you can't even see my cute little light that I got for Christmas. Look, my mum got me <laughs> a little lightning bolt light for the background of my video for Christmas. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good and the new year is off to a good start for you all. I know we're in lockdown so that's probably impossible but I hope you are having a good time anyway. When lockdown was announced I was a bit naughty and I kind of went on ASOS and spent a lot of money that I don't have. So I thought I would make it into a haul and show you guys. Before I get into this video, I know a lot of you watching this will probably not be subscribed, so it would mean a lot if you could just click the subscribe button. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. So let's jump right into the haul. So I've moved a bit over to the side so I can pop up the little try on clips. So let's start off with my favourite. Over on Instagram, I follow this girl called Holly. Her username is at Kitty Lux. I am obsessed with her style. I only started following her recently and I just love everything she wears. Like she has a really basic wardrobe but she has a few pieces that are just like bang and they just make every outfit pop. Anyway, long story short, she's got this cardigan and I saw it, it was back on stock and I am obsessed. It's just this chunky neck cardigan. It's actually from Stradivarius. I got it in a size medium and it's just this like rainbow multicolored little cardigan with some tortoise shell buttons. I love the fit of this. I wanted to go up to a size large, but they didn't actually have a large in stock, so I thought a medium would be fine, and it is, it fits perfectly. Can't wait to wear this with outfits, like even just with this outfit that I've got on now, I think it would look so sick. If you've been following me since the first lockdown, you will know that I am obsessed with cardigans, and this is no exception. I absolutely love this one. I'm going to be wearing this all the way through till spring, so very happy that I've added this to my wardrobe. This is quite summery, but it caught my eye when I was scrolling, so I just had to get it. So it's this misguided dress. What size did I get it in? I got this in a size 12. It's just like this polka dot square neck, sheared front little dress. It just goes down from the bust all the way down. It has these little frills on the sleeve as well. I love this dress. I love misguided dresses. I just feel like they fit me so well. And I feel like if you have a bigger chest, square necklines are always very flattering. The little shoulders are elasticated as well. I guess if you wanted, you could wear it off the shoulder, but I would probably wear it on top of my shoulders. <laughs> like I said, I know it's probably the wrong time of year for this. I might wear it with some tights, boots, and a chunky jacket just to spice it up a bit, make it a bit edgy. I'm really excited for my wardrobe to get a bit more springy so I can bring back in the colour. I don't really know what possessed me to buy lots of summer dresses in the middle of January but I suppose it was just the lockdown made me a bit stressed and I wasn't thinking straight and shopping makes me happy. So this is just an ASOS design little dress. It is black with blue, green and yellow flowers. To be honest I didn't expect this material to be like it. It's like a scuba material which I'm not the biggest fan of. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. I got it in a 12 but the neckline is really really flattering. To be honest I would probably wear it with a high neck just like this so I'm not cold and showing my chest. It's just a little smock style of dress that I've been obsessed with recently. They are so flattering on mid-size gowns. But yeah, not too sure if I'm going to keep this one purely because the material because I feel like it's going to make you sweat and anything that makes me extra sweaty is a no from me. Next we have a gorgeous leopard print smock dress, same design with the v-neck but this one's got short sleeves and they're puffy. It also goes in under the bust and has tears as well so it's got two little tears. I would definitely say animal print is a neutral because I feel like this would go with so many different things. Can't wait to be wearing this with some massive chunky jewellery a uh, roll neck and a massive cardigan. This one is actually from Stradivarius and I got a large because I feel like their dresses run small. I've accidentally got loads of stuff from Bershka and Pull and Bear and Stradivarius but I'm not mad about it because I really do like their clothes but I just feel like their sizing can be a bit off sometimes. Next up we have this Bershka t-shirt. It is just like a graphic t-shirt with some little puffy lettering. I don't know if anyone remembers but when I was younger there used to be this thing called puffy paint and every single person at school was obsessed with it. Any Thing that we owned would have a puffy paint name on it. I'll try and get some photos on screen to show you what I'm talking about. I got this one in a large and I really like the fit. To be honest I didn't think the colours were going to be as bright as this but I really like it. It actually says be present only now Israel 1990 changes philosophical I like it but I'm obsessed with styling little t-shirts like this with roll necks underneath so I thought this would be a nice one to add to the collection okay this is a bit more autumn winter appropriate this is just this Stradivarius little faux fur I want to say it's like Borg shacket it's just this like teddy style little shacket it does have pockets which you know I love a pocket it is quite thin material I got this one in a medium and I'm not too sure if I'm going to keep it just because it is 
quite thin material. But then again, I'm trying to convince myself because it would look cool with a hoodie styled underneath. If you follow my Instagram, you'll know I have a massive teddy coat from H&M uh, that I wear absolutely all the time. So I thought this would be like a nice transitional piece. So when it warms up a little bit, I can wear this instead of the massive coat because I just love the color. I think it just goes with anything. Oh, okay, this one was a bit of a rogue choice. So let me set the scene. It was pre-lockdown three. I think I was at uni and I saw this girl walking on the tube platform and I was like, oh wow. I think I'm in love. Your outfit just looks incredible and so do you. But basically she was wearing a long line jacket similar to this color. So let's say I was inspired by her and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna get a long line jacket and see what it looks like. And let me tell you, they are not made for five foot four people. It's quite a similar color to the other jacket that I got. Likewise, it's also really thin, which I don't like. It is actually from Stradivarius. Again, it's a size medium and I tried to style it as you can see in the clip. I just think it's not the piece for me. Like I'm not mad about it. She looked amazing. However, it's just not for me. This also made its way into my basket, which I really regret now looking back. It's just this large pull and bear. It's like a ribbed square neck, little crop top, but it's got long sleeves and it's this gorgeous taupey mushroom color. I don't really know what I was thinking when I added this into my basket, but basically, as you can see from the try on clip, it just looks stupid. The way that my armpits are kind of exposed, the way that it fits my arms, I just really don't like it. I loved the color, but the fit on the armpits and the arms, like these bits here, I just think it looks so stupid. But I have seen some bits in this shade of like taupe mushroom color on Zara website, so might do a little haul over on Zara just to spice up my wardrobe a little bit. A pro about this is it's really nice thick material, but it's not made for busty girls. If you have bigger boobies, I would steer clear of this one, unfortunately. And finally, talking about boobs, I got myself a new bra. This is just a really boring, basic nude bra. It's from the brand Pour Moi. I have actually had lingerie gifted from them as well. This is in a 32F if anyone cares. But you know, like a good fitting bra, there's just nothing like it. It just makes your clothes fit so much nicer. It makes me feel so much more confident. So if you've made it to the end of this video, I would suggest that you go and grab your nearest tape measure and give your boobs a little measure because I guarantee that at least 80% of you will be wearing the wrong bra size. I've just seen it's got like a little Thing, and that's really exciting. Yeah, a question I get asked a lot is where I get my bras from because I am a bigger boobed gal. I get them from Pour Moi, Panache, Freya Lingerie. I have a really, really nice t-shirt bra like that from Freya, but it unfortunately doesn't fit anymore. Curvy Kate and Fig Leaves also have some great bras for big boobed gals. Anyway, that kind of went on a little tangent there. If you did like this video, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I have loads more content coming this year. All that's left to say is that I will see you in the next one. Bye.